After many travels, Neo came upon a familiar sight, a Novikit town out on the savannah, much like his hometown. While he wasn't recruiting crew members from the town, Neo mined as much Durasteel as he could find. Alright, alright, alright everyone, my name is Echo Tango, and welcome back to the Starbound 1.4 Ranger Let's Play. So, as you can tell, we got a lot, and I mean a lot, of Durasteel ore, so let us go ahead to the furnace and make some Durasteel bars, and make as many as we can, 110 of them. So anyways, the plan for today is we're actually going to go down and find the Hyaltal Artifact in the Grand Pagoda Library, but before we do that, we of course have to go about some upgrades. And of course, this happens when you have the Durasteel bars that we so wanted for salt for a long time. And now, we finally got a lot. And let's say, what, we got 122. So now, let's actually, but before we actually go ahead and make our big upgrades, like our armor and all that, we actually have to upgrade all of our um, crafting stations. And that requires a lot of stuff. So first thing we actually have to upgrade is the industrial furnace, which requires volatile powder which comes from core fragments. They ask for 10 volatile powder, so we're gonna have to make some 10. And so this volatile powder, as you can tell, made from core fragments, is dangerous powder, it's useful for crafting explosives, or for upgrading in this sort of situation. And now look at that, we got ourselves an atomic furnace, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, atomic furnace, and that's the highest upgrade we can get. And so now we have access to all the crafting ingredient, all the crafting materials for a bunch of endgame stuff, all the Aegis, Alphrosium, Violium, and Solarium, but that'll come later. And we also have the recipes for a bunch of other equipment, the, a, the, the AA batteries, the regular batteries, and the copper wire, and the silicon board, which is going to be used in the other upgrades. So, other upgrades for the crafting stations, I mean. So let's take a look at this one. This one requires, okay, batteries, silicon board, copper wire. Wow, okay, that's a lot That's a lot of silicon boards and copper wire, but that requires one battery. This one requires one battery, and probably a few other um, crafting stations over here require a few others. Oh, of course, also another thing I've been doing off-camera is actually um, refurnishing or putting in new walls for the ship, which actually is starting to come along really nicely. Now, okay, I just noticed... I haven't made this in a while. I actually haven't made the Apothecary. We're gonna have to go and make that. But this one requires also battery, silicone board, copper wire. So, let us go ahead and make some of that stuff. So first, let me make some empty bottles. Oops, wait, do I not have enough glass? Oh jeez, I don't have enough glass. Okay, let's make as much glass as we can then. Let's go ahead and make 20, I guess. So, yep, yeah, we're going to be doing a lot, it's going to be a lot of upgrades right now. It's going to be a while before we actually get into the actions here, so bear with me for a second. Just bear with me, and let's make five empty bottles. So we've got five empty bottles. We're going to go ahead and make a lot of copper wire. Let's go ahead and make eight rounds of them, so that's actually going to give us 40. And then we can actually go ahead and make um, AA batteries, which I've been actually collecting from Robot Chicken, and then some big batteries. Also got poison from the planet down below, actually, this jungle planet I'm orbiting right now. So let's see, we require, let me see, one, two, and four. Okay, we're going to require four of them. So let's go ahead and make four of the batteries. All right. And then let's go ahead and make a lot of silicon boards. Let's go ahead and make... I'd say maybe 30. 30 sounds nice, so this is going to take some time. Alright, we got all of our silicon boards, so hopefully we'll be able to upgrade some of this other stuff. So let's go ahead for the forge. Yep, we can. And look at that. We also learned to craft all the add-ons, but we won't put those in until later, so we'll wait until then. Then we have the foraging table. Oh, I'm all out of copper wire. Okay, let's go ahead and make some more copper wire then. Uh... Make another 10 rounds, I guess you can say. Copper wire, I mean, good thing they always give you a lot of copper wire, five, five per, so that's nice. Anyways, let's finally go ahead and upgrade this. Yep, upgrade that. So now we have the agricultural table. We can make sprinklers, make a bunch of other weapons here, which is really cool, and a few other things as well, which is real nice. But we're not going to do that right now. Next thing, we're going to upgrade... This to engineer's table, yeah. And then the last thing I'm gonna need is actually I'm gonna need to make the apothecary because I haven't done that yet. 
which requires timber, empty bottles, and torches. Just one torch in this case. And actually, for right now, let's go ahead and put the apothecary down over here. Um, I have to. I'm gonna make a. I'm gonna make a kind of like a med bay once I get enough um, ship upgrades. But for now, we'll just put it right here, so we can make bandages and salve. But let's go ahead and also upgrade that as well because I can. Yeah, look at that. Now we actually have the medical station, so I can make a bunch of other cool stuff. But we'll not, we're not going to go ahead and make that stuff just yet. So, now we actually have all the upgrades. Let's finally go ahead and make some new armor. Yeah, make some new armor. So, we're actually going to go ahead and make the Sheriff's set. Sheriff's hat, which requires stir steel leather. Sheriff's slacks, which requires stir steel and leather. Sheriff's vest, which requires leather. Silky, we have all that. So, here comes the Sheriff's hat. You are the law. With this eccentric 10-gallon hat and mask. And we have the Sheriff's Slacks. They'll respect your authority when you're wearing these Sheriff's Slacks. Oh, definitely. And finally, the Sheriff's Vest. Be the best dressed in town in the Sheriff's Vest. Hmm. You know, for some reason, I don't imagine myself calling this the Sheriff's Set. I actually imagine calling this the Marshal Set. But you know what? That's pretty okay with me. We got our, got our new... Wait, did it work? Oops. There we go. That was the leg. Sorry. And then the vest. And then this is what I look like. Yeah, I look pretty cool. I look pretty cool indeed. But let's go ahead and put the bandit's hat back on my vanity slot. So now we got ourselves a new armor set. Oh, I forgot to take a look at the stats. Sorry about that. So we have 140 health, 140 energy, 429% damage, 70 defense. Pretty awesome indeed. So I think we are all about ready to go. All right, and I'm actually gonna go ahead, pick up some food. Where did I put it all? Yeah, so I actually got a little bit of food that already, just this chocolate bar, but let's go ahead and bring a few other items with us, just in case. And so you see here's actually my kind of, it's not really a farm, it's like a ranch of some sorts, but it'll do, and I really like having that around. So, any other preparations before we need to go on? I don't think so. I really don't think so, unless... Now, this doesn't have uh, have much to me offer to me right now. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're actually all pretty good to go. I got all my weapons ready, of course. So, all right, guys, this is it. Let's go down into the Grand Pagoda Library. This is it, guys. Let's deploy. All right, guys, here we are down at the Grand Pagoda Library. Uh, make sure I have everything I need. I'm pretty sure I have everything I need. We can actually scan these teleporters here. Handy way to get back to my shipping on the next adventure. But we're not doing that, and I want to push all the buttons. But, like with the missions these days, this island is home to the Grand Pagoda Library entrance. Yes, of course. But like I was saying, with most missions these days, I'm not going to try to go for all the secrets. We're just going to go ahead and go straight through, get to the end, reveal some secrets if possible. So here we are. Pretty interesting stuff. Here's Koichi. Is someone there? The library's motion sensors are picking up a signal. You have to help me, okay? I'm sorry, my name is Koichi. I'm here researching great high level thinkers, but these villains showed up. Yeah. Violent criminals. I fled to the basement. I'm barricaded in here with an artifact that they seem to want to steal. High level artifact, of course. I'm sorry to impose, but please rescue me. I'll open the entrance hatch. Why, oh, thank you, Koichi. This will be important. Anyways. Here we go. Oh, he's out entered. He's opened a hatch. This hunk of metal doesn't seem to respond to much. Yo. Yeah. Here we go. Rough, tough, tough, tough looking hatch. Got a switch there. Ooh, look at that hourglass. Why ain't this timer ever running out? I don't know. And now also, yeah, we got codexes. And of course, with codexes, you can always pause at DB. Yeah, look at that. Iron Beaks Journal. Alright, now, is there anything over here? There usually isn't a whole lot over here. Got a cairn and some other stone structures. That's a stone, alright, yes it is. And I'll, Oh, actually, there are a few other things here. Nothing, 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 and nothing. Okay, well, let's actually go down into the Grand Pico Library. Finally, deep under the waves. And with good music and possibly some tough enemies. So hopefully we'll be ready for that. Alright, here we go! Oh boy, deep and deeper we go. 
It's get, it looks really cool. There's a secret up there, but we're not going for it. Current exterior pressure reading 15 quash. Scans show the structure is capable of withstanding in excess of 80 quash. Chance of survival surprisingly high. This library suffered from sorry neglect. I'm afraid you might have to take the long way around. Yep, I feared as much. But I can assist you. I can monitor the library through these old holographic projection displays. Oh, good. All right, and now he's gone. So I got a lot of books. Tall library. Tall bookshelves. Yeah, books galore. So not a whole lot that we can see around here. All right, I got a med pack. That's pretty good. Anything else? I know I could stand on top of these. But look at all this. Look at all this. This looks so cool. But now, let's see here. We cannot... Uh... Can we go out there? I think I think that that's just an airlock. I think we can, I think we're fine. And let's see here. No, we cannot go that. Way. Okay, cool. So can I actually interact with these? No, I cannot. Okay. So let's go this way then. Let's let this water drain. All right, we're in. Sweet. And we got some more bookshelves. Here's Koichi again. I apologize for you having to stumble around in the dark. There's a breaker for this room nearby. But oh, thank you. Any more? Okay. What, what in the stars is this thing for? <laughs> oh, look at this. We got a pressurized support blueprint, which is nice. So in order to make a pressurized support, look at all these banners. Curtains look like they're for showing off. There's a breaker up there. Okay, cool. Got anything here? Got another lamp. Okay. But anyways, the breaker is over here. But look at that lily pad. A lot of pots, I'm not going to break them right now, we're just going to go for the breaker. Here we go, we got a breaker on, it's online. Alright, let's continue. Get access through this passageway here. Let's see, do we got anything here? Nope. Alright, here's Koichi again. I know this library is in disrepair, but isn't it still wondrous? So many resources. It is a really impressive library, if I don't say so myself. Thousands of years of literature, art, and essay. <clears throat> a nice painting right there, too. Did you know the texts here predate our near extinction at the hands of the Florin Hordes? I heard about the war. It's a terrible war, I've heard. And he's gone. Alright, let's take a look at this. Not a bad painting. Looks like he's playing cards. Hmm. Is he? Is he, though? Anything else? Should be aware about? Okay, let's just continue on this way, then. I think this is where I need to go. Ooh, got some enemies. Okay, I think we took care of them all. Ooh, got some more stuff. I think, yeah, I think I already know the blueprint for that, so we don't need that anymore. No, I just, I just looked at that. Anything else I should be aware about? Okay, we got another, another pressure I support. So we don't need that. Okay, we're in. Huh, this light ain't working properly. Okay, also I forgot to uh, scan those beams, so I can just make those anyway. Tough, okay. Color change in light. Is it trying to communicate something? Well, unfortunately, it said it shows green, but we can't go through here. So instead, we'll just have to go down this way, which is where we need to go anyway. This is blocked off. Can't do much with that. Let's see here. <clears throat> so it's going to be pretty deep. Not much we can do here. This place is flooded. So as we go deeper into the library, it gets, it looks a lot more messed up. It looks like it's a lot more discrepant. So, let's just keep going. We got a pump here, so we gotta do this. Useful for checking if the pump is operating. And now we finally got this pump operating. Good, good. I'm not sure if I can access these doors just yet, but we'll see. Wait for this the water to go down. Can I scan this one? I don't think I can scan that. Alright, here we are. Let's see what comes on first. Okay, that door is open. Can I go through here? I can go through here. Let's actually go through here anyway. <clears throat> if I can. We got some stuff here. Nothing. And wow, nothing. This is literally worthless. Okay. Worthless fruit. Fruitless endeavor. All right. All right, here we are. Library's motion sensors are picking up movement below your location. Okay. Please be careful down there. Those people are violent thugs. Well, we'll just see about that. Oh, wait, we got some more stuff. What is this? Shaco Howl Punctures, a spear. Don't need spears right now. And we also got a pressurized airlock hatch. Learn a recipe for that. Can we go through here? 
Okay, we can go through here, but what's on this side? Or will this just... Oh, there's a guy. Okay, took care of him. Ooh, got another... Oh, that's another airlock hatch. We don't need that. Anything else? Got some more stuff. Nothing in the trash can. Let me see. Another painting. Now that's one strange looking dame. Okay, took care of him. Anyone else? Ooh, look at this. Picture book, sorta. Nothing in these, and we can't go through there. Now there is something up here. Where will this take me? Oh, this takes me back here. Okay, so... In case I need to ever loop back on myself for any reason, which we're not going to go ahead and do right now. So... Can't go through there. Wait, can I? I forgot where... They say we're below some thugs. Oh, no, no, actually, no, wait, sorry. This is the other room. I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. This is where we need to go, so... Weapons out. Let's go. Got a switch here. Got a bookcase. Got another codex. This one's called Freedom. Again, pause if need be. Alright, let's continue. So, weapons out. Got, I see a cultist. So, we got cultist. Alright, took care of both, so that's good. Anything else? Okay, hmm, doesn't seem like there's anything else. So let's keep going. Got another switch. I'm not sure what that opened, but we'll see soon enough. Oh, I think it just, oh no, it just opened this hatch down here. Took care of him. Let's see, there's two ways we could go, possibly. Got some stuff here. Okay, I already have that. And nothing, okay. Let's see here. Nothing up there. Okay, that one I can't even go anyway. Let's go here then. This is where we need to go. Just open right for us already. Alright. Look at this, look at this painting, that's cool. This fellow looks ready for action, doesn't he? Your, the room ahead is flooded. I had to swim through. I think you're gonna have to do the same. Alright. Got some more books. Those are books, furniture, as in. All right, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so we're going through here now. Can't really. Oh, this right here. So we're gonna have to swim through this one. Okay. What is this? There's gold in them. There, oceans. Oh, okay. I get it now. Ooh, look at this. Anything in here? No. Okay. There's a hatch up there. I'm not sure if we can get into there. We'll see. Nothing here. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I can just go through. Sweet. Oh, Jesus. Did he drop any coins? Nope. Okay. But. Cool. Got him. Nothing there. Actually, I'd probably take some food because I haven't done so already. Let's just take that chocolate. <laughs> Extremely well-preserved chocolate. I actually make a lot of chocolate these days because I do have a lot of chocolate. Let me, just, let me just show you how much chocolate I have. 11 Cocoa Pods, one per chocolate bar, which is real nice. Yeah, I just thought I'd like to mention that. Anyways, what else we got here? Right, here's Koichi again. I'm afraid this is the last holographic display. Be careful. I hope to see you soon. Thanks, Koichi. I'll see you on, hope to see you on the other side. Well, it's a floor sign. Whoopee. <laughs> yes, whoopee indeed. All right, that just opened the hatch. Lamp, nothing special about it. Got stuff there. And doesn't seem like anything else here. Okay, let's finally go down here. Wait. Wait, where does this go to? Oh, it just takes me... Where does this take me? Oh, does it take me back to the beginning? There's a three, by the way. Lucky number three. Lucky number three? Why is three such a lucky number? I don't know, actually. Hmm. I can't think of a reason, for some reason. <clears throat> oh, cultist! Oh, I'm getting flanked by cultists on all sides. Oh, 
Okay, took care of him. Where is he? Alright, took care of him. That's good. Did I get this one? I don't remember. Anyways, they're cultists. I think and we're, we're gonna see a lot more cultists down here, aren't we? I forget feeling. Well, actually, I already know. I've played this through before. But we are definitely gonna see more cultists. Anyways, that's a switch. Let's take this down. Deeper and deeper we go. Deeper and deeper we go. You're now approaching the basement level. My readings are distorted, but I can estimate your peril level if you wish. Eh, I'd rather not. The bookcases. I've heard of these cultists, but I know little about them. I wonder if... Who can say? Who can say? Touch your chest! Look at what I got. Don't worry about it. Murderous strangers are totally your specialty. <laughs> yes, they are, Naru. Yes, they are. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Okay, we got another codex. Salvage plans from this treasure chest over here. You can pause that if need be. And we also got one part of the Valorous set, but the other chests are somewhere else in the ocean over there, so... We are not going to go ahead and get them right now. Probably off camera, I'm going to go ahead and get them. Or not. Right now, I'm not really going for vanity sets. Oh. Alright, took care of him. Let's actually take some more food. Let's get eat this candy corn. Yeah. Well, actually, oh, that gives me a lot of buffs. Energy buffs, oh, that's good. Come on at me, bro. Alright, now he's dead. Okay. Anyone else? Come at me. I'm waiting for you. Alright, took care of him. <clears throat> Anyone else? Hmm. Oh, save point, so that's important. Anything else up here that I should be that I should know about? I don't I really don't think so. I don't know why I'm checking. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else here. Okay. So let's actually now continue. So we actually have to go down through here. Look at that. Ooh. Trapped in a room here with me. And they're dead. Awesome. So took care of those last few guys. Hopefully those are the last few guys. A chest. I've seen that recipe before. Alright, here we go. And this is the boss room. Should light up any minute. And look who it is. We'll, we'll know her name soon enough. Okay, but first let me just go ahead and let these buffs wear out for a second. I'm gonna go ahead and take some more food before we start the battle. Come on. Any minute now. Alright, sweet. Got that health buff and the well-fed buff. Here we go. Huh? Are you Esther's puppet? So she's gathering underlings again. You know you're way over your head, don't you? Yeah, I am. I'll pity you in a way, having your strings pulled by that withered hag. Never mind. Time to die. So she's... Now, this, now she always has a pattern. That's part of her pattern. And her name is Azranox. Okay, now she's gonna do the sphere. The sphere is always the hardest one to dodge. So let's go ahead and break her down. And now she's back up. So we're gonna have to continue- oh Jesus. Laser beam. Come on. Oh. Oh Jesus, why'd I do that? Now she's gonna do dash. And now she's gonna turn into a ball. Oops. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, yeah. So my sniper rifle will do always do more damage. So laser beam up. Okay. Now she should go up to the to fly up. Do that. And then she's gonna do her dashes. Oh Jesus. Sphere is always hardest to dodge. Okay. So she's laser beaming. You appear on this side. Okay. Okay, now she's gonna do dashers. And she should turn into a sphere right about now. All right, gotcha. I guess I underestimated you. Yeah, so you win this time. Woe is me. But it's too late to stop what's happening. Let Esther know. There's no hope. We shall see about that. Not to me. And oh, look at that! I got her. I got her soulless katana. Oh, that is a that is a good. That's a really good melee weapon. But um. But um, we're a ranger, so and right click attack is. We fire the deadly bolts to the ground, which is always really cool. So, we defeated Azra Nox, and we're definitely going to be seeing her more later. That woman, her voice, could it be after all this time? I don't know. You're here. You made it. You defeated those cowled villains. Cowled villains, I should say. So, you're here for this artifact, too? How intriguing. What do we get? Here we are. I think it's best to entrust it to you. A reward for your decency. It's certainly not safe here. And it shall be mine. But, um, may I come with you? This object, the artifact, I would love to know more. Certainly. You're always welcome. Here we go. Key recovered. We got the Hylotol artifact. Alright. And I'm pretty sure this is all we have for here. Looks like this is made to hold something important. The artifact, of course, we just took it. And then we should be able to get some treasure if there's nothing else here. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. I'm not gonna go check. I'm not gonna bother doing it right now. So let's go take a look what we got. All right, we got Nox's journal. We got a capture pod and we got two melee weapons, which I'm not gonna bother with. So let's take a look at Nox's journal. Let's actually, and of course, with all bosses, we're gonna go ahead and read them. The universe is ours by rights. It belongs to the humans. The Akasis members might not understand much, but at least they grasp that. They exult in their supremacist rhetoric and scamper around spreading their hate, but they just can't fathom the genesis of what's happening here. Still, better an army of morons than no army at all. Esther would understand, if she can only see past her flawed imaginings. People have a way of letting their own agendas bind them. Blind them, I'm sorry. She's an added fool, addled fool. Obsessed with unity and harmony, and completely unable to see what's right in front of her. She'll learn. My old teacher will learn. She's an ice tip bug in the path of an avalanche. <sighs> you sound pretty extremist there, Astronox. But you're going down. Eventually. The right thinkers tell us that experience is the mother of wisdom. I'm going to become so wise. See you soon, Koichi. And thus, Koichi has joined the outpost. This is awesome. So now let's go ahead and return to the Ark. Alright guys, we're now finally back at the Ark. Koichi is just over here. He has missions for us, but we're not going to do them right now. But let's go talk to Esther. Well done for saving the artifact, dear. They're powerful objects, and not safe in the wrong hands. And we do have a treasure bag, so let's go ahead and open that. We got ourselves a manipulator module. We're going to go ahead and make some more upgrades. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look what upgrades we can make now. So that requires 24, 32, 24... And wiring mode requires three. Let's just go ahead and do that right now. So, let's get ahead or go for our next mission. Avians next, I think. Probably best to go to planets where jungle terrain is in abundance. Avians like to inhabit such places. You'll find those kinds of planets around radioactive stars. See you soon, dear. Be careful and happy hunting. And so I shall accept. But we're going to do some 
AV and clue finding in another episode. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you guys here. So thank you guys for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, drop a like down below, let me know how I'm doing. And of course, if you want to see more of my content, why not hit the subscribe button? It'll help out me and it'll help out you. So thank you all. Until next time, I'll see you around.